I'm Chris Madden, and I'd love to give you a quick preview of my 17th book, The Soul of a House, which is about my own home and my family's getaway in Vermont. My home here outside New York City is a 100-year-old carriage house where horses and carriages were kept many years ago and is now filled with family, friends, flowers, dogs, and even some curbside treasures. Everyone's entryway should be welcoming, and since the pineapple is the symbol of welcome, I like to pop two fresh ones into these wooden urns to greet guests as they come into our doorway. I love black and white photographs, and not just in frames, but even in glass trays like this one that I created for the Oprah show. It's of all the guys in my family. They're fun, and whenever I entertain in my living room, people adore this unique serving tray. Our living room, small but cozy, and filled with personal collections such as silver pieces, old and new, that when you group together really can make a statement. Even miniature dogs that I find at flea markets all over the country have a place of honor in this room. My dining room is pretty special, whether it's snowing outside or a sunny day like this one in the summer, since it was the original stable of the carriage house. And being a busy mom and businesswoman, I try and keep my life at home organized with a system of binders of what I bought when, and most important, how to fix it when something breaks in a room. The gathering spot in most homes is the kitchen, and ours is no different. In fact, I created a banquette with built-in dog beds at either end for afternoon snoozes. Now this is the room where our family really hangs out. A long sectional I designed with lots of pillows, tables to kick your feet up on, and of course my guys love the big screen TV for any and all sporting events in our family room. Our bedroom looks luxurious, but I'd like to let you in on a little secret. Many pieces were curbside treasures. In fact, this dressing table was picked up by me in the trash on the streets of New York City and still looks elegant, I think, to this day. I love designing armoires. This is from my J.C. Penney collection. They can store clothes, TVs, or even a mini breakfast bar. I'm lucky enough to have a little extra space outside my room where I do my morning yoga stretches and painting, and when I get a minute, listening to music or even meditate. Now to the outside, and with my stylish design on a budget mantra, continuing with a cabana that I bought from my local garden and home supply store for under $300. I covered it with some waterproof fabric, and it's a place we all gravitate to, rain or shine. Another great gathering spot all year long under our old oak trees is our fire pit and chairs, guaranteed to put a mellow end to everyone's evening. I hate to leave New York, but wait till I show you what's happening up in our getaway, north. It's a classic ranch style nestled in the mountains of Vermont with decks that really make us stop, relax, and enjoy the views and what nature has to offer. I'm a firm believer that in our busy days, we need to stop and really smell the roses. I love a romantic bedroom and places, of course, for our dogs to perch. And our bedroom here is no different. Whereas our son's bedroom is almost the opposite, with a fantastic, realistic-looking log cabin wallpaper that sets the tone. Cowboy hats hung on the walls, plaid bedding. It's a real throwback to the early days of New England. Even the screened porch becomes an impromptu summer bedroom with our Adirondack twig bed and mosquito netting, just for a little touch of glamour. Thanks for letting me share my new Rizzoli book, The Soul of a House, by Chris Madden, and I hope it helps you turn your own home into a haven.